My brother has always been so irresponsible, but I almost lost my mind when my dad said that he's going to leave the entire inheritance to my older brother because he's the one that needs it the most. Well, when I found out that he already used all the money with his addiction, I almost flipped out. Here's what I had to say. My story is full of hitches and problems, so bear with me as you listen to it. Last week, my brother got home in a much disheveled state. He opened the door to my room with a thud as it slammed against the wall. He began to shout at me at the top of his voice, and I was on a call with a friend. I had to cut the call short as I could not comprehend what just happened. So I asked him what happened, but my brother was absolutely raging crazy. He just began to throw things around in a fit. My parents and my brother's wife came to my room hearing all the noises, and they were just as confused as I was. The only thing that my brother kept repeating was that I had made his life a living hell. He said that everything in life had been easy for me while things had always been hard for him. Now, this is not something that he has tried against me. Well, this is the first time. <laughs> he usually gets cranky and starts blaming me for everything bad in his life. My parents tried to sit him down to discuss things in a calm manner, but he was not ready to listen to anything. He was clearly not in his senses, and he must have been really drunk as he was completely out of control. In a fit of rage and anger, he threw one of the vases on my table, and it hit me on my arm. Luckily, it did not cut that deep. It did not hurt a lot physically, but I was always losing my temper at this absurd behavior. I got up to actually hit him back, but somehow my father made him go into his room. And my mother put a bandage on my arm as I was expecting my parents to take this matter seriously. But all I heard from them was that I should give my brother some space as he was going through a lot. He's been fired from his job the previous day. Well, I was shocked at the fact that my parents were all right with my brother taking out his frustration on me and just being so jealous of me, but they said no more. Let me share a little uh, background story so you can clearly understand this incident in full. I lived in a cozy suburban home filled with laughter and happiness. My brother and I were like how every sibling is. We used to wreak havoc in the house, go crazy, tease each other, and then play together. Growing up, we shared secrets and adventures and a bond that seemed unbreakable. We had no idea of what was coming. The seeds of enmity were being sown, and my brother had excelled in school. At home, he was the perfect golden boy who had it all. I mean, good looks, top grades, athletic qualities, and whatnot. I, on the other hand, was just a free-spirited child who enjoyed playing and roaming around the house. Since childhood, my brother had a knack for getting into trouble, but his infectious smile would get him away with everything. <laughs> As we entered teenage years, our differences became more apparent. My brother went on to achieve great things, but his troubled and hidden side was also coming to light. Our personalities clashed with each other, creating an underlying tension between us, and our mother's comparison would also add fuel to the fire and create more sibling rivalry. So, my brother's achievements were always praised, while mine were just overlooked. However, during high school, I started putting effort to and gained my parents' favor. But by then, my brother had started showing a very different side that no one had seen before. He was getting more and more indulged in this reckless behavior, drinking and staying out all night. His grades began to get really bad. My parents started holding him accountable, and my brother would get annoyed every single time that they would just compare us. So, he was used to being treated as a golden kid. The scolding did not sit well with him at all, and I'd say the resentment began to build within him, fueling his desire to rebel against the expectations placed upon him. Yeah, uh, that's right. Uh, this became the primary reason for the constant conflict between us. I got accepted into my dream college, and my brother just got to community college because of his grades. He was jealous of it, and he made no effort to hide it. He made it a habit to blame me for everything at every chance that he got, and I never took him seriously, but I could see this, uh, things are going to get weird between us. Well, my brother graduated, and he actually got a job in an office. It was a dead-end job with an ordinary salary, yet my brother never took it seriously anyways. 
He got married, he had a child, but remained not serious about his job or his family, to be honest. Well, he got fired because of this unprofessional behavior I'm speaking of. I'm going to graduate soon, and my brother makes sure to slip it in every conversation that he's failing at life because of the comparison that our parents had always made between the two of us. Well, I never paid heed to whatever my brother said, but this incident last week is just alarming and has put me in a lot of tension. Being so okay with hitting me is unacceptable. I cannot be the punching bag that he can blame for his inabilities. Since this incident last week, he's not apologized to me at all. Instead, he keeps asking me when I will get a job, as I've graduated and live in my parents' house. Well, I think it's ironic when he also lives in the same house while being married, but his constant questioning is getting on my nerves. Why doesn't he focus more on his own life instead of making mine a living hell? Guys, what should I do? I mean, I also fear that if I stay here, he's going to create a fight if he gets drunk again. I just really need some advice. What's up, everybody? Mr. Redito here. Let's go ahead and check out some top comments from the original post before we hop into this boiling hot update. Comment number one from Leah65 says, I'm shocked to hear that your brother went as far as hitting you while he was drunk. This is not normal at all, and... If he's done it once, he will probably do it again, considering the fact that he has a problem with you living in the home. You need to find a proper solution to it, otherwise it could get dangerous. Also, I feel like your parents need to step up in the matter. It is your parents' house, and he has no right to question you about being there, particularly when he himself is living there. I mean, come on. Physical violence and abuse is unacceptable. You don't need to wait for this to happen again. Confront him directly and have an open conversation about all of this. I hope things work out well for you and the conflict ends peacefully in your family. Comment number two by Liam. I'm so sorry, but you're overreacting to it. Your brother sounds like somebody who has been a victim of being put down by your parents a lot. So a person loses all his confidence in being compared to his sibling. He needs to be understood He's been fired from his job and everybody makes mistakes. He must be relying on his family for support in this difficult time of his life. You're making a big deal out of it. You should listen to him and let him know that all of you are there for him instead of flaunting your success in front of him to make him feel worse. Things will cool down between you brothers. You just need to be a little more patient with him. Update number one. Hey guys, thank you for your comments. Most of the comments were really kind. However, some of the comments said that my brother is the real victim here. I don't know. I think that's weird as I'm the one who's been hurt physically. And with words, nothing justifies physical violence. Anyways, things did not really go well after the incident. My brother made no effort to talk to me. My parents tried to settle things between us, but my brother was just not ready to even have a normal conversation with me. He ignored me the entire time. Even if we are in the same room, he doesn't talk to me or even look at me. He's been really nice to my parents, on the other hand, and it's surprising for me because he's never been there for them. However, it was obvious that he was trying to change that. He spent time with mom and dad, and he even took dad to his doctor's appointments, which I used to do. I really wanted things to get better between us brothers. Well, uh, but he was really not talking to me at all. Nonetheless, I was happy about the fact that at least he was fixing his relationship with our parents. He was caring for them, and it was good to see that positive thing in him, which I had not seen in so, so long. Guys, deep down, I was hoping that things would start to get better from here and we would get normal. A week ago, I heard back from a job that I applied for. I was not really expecting to get it, but I did. They were offering a good starting salary and a lot of other perks too, and I had to move to another city, but I was okay with it. Everything was good between my parents and my brother, and I was sure that if I moved out, my brother would feel good since he wanted that all along. I made reservations at a restaurant for my family since we were supposed to celebrate my new job. My brother, he did not show up. It hurt to know that he did just decide to throw away our relationship like this. So... As we got home that night, my father said that there was something really important that he needs to discuss. All of us gathered in the living room to talk. 
See, my father broke this huge news to us, that he had divided all of his wealth and assets and all amongst us, as he did not want to drag the decision along. It was surprising to me as there had been no talk about it, the real shock was yet to come. It hit me hard when my father told me that he's given everything in the inheritance to my elder brother, and all that I've gotten was a small house and a bit of money. Only the house they lived in was still with them. He had given all his wealth to my brother. It broke my heart that he had been so unfair in this matter. It was clearly unjust, and I had not expected something like that from him. I wanted to protest it and ask my parents why they have done this, but I could not even find the right words to approach it. I glanced at my brother and his wife, who looked so satisfied and happy with my dad's decision. Things became clear to me. Everything that he was doing for my parents was because of this reason. He'd been after the money, of course. Anyways, I did not have the words to ask my parents all the questions that they were inside my head. I packed my things that night, and I left the house early in the morning. Update number two. It's been a month since I moved out of the house and started my new job. Things are good at work, and everybody at my workplace is quite cooperative. So I have one less thing to worry about and stress over. I've tried to throw myself into this new job to perform well and to keep my mind off the family drama. My parents have been trying to contact me for the past few weeks. They've called and texted several times, but I've not responded to any of them. <laughs> I'm just not ready to talk about the fact that they uh, evidently chose their one son over another. I've never been a greedy person. I've always strived to make it independently and never had eyes on my parents' money. However, it just hurts to see unjust treatment, you know? My dad came to visit me a week ago. I didn't know that he was coming and he showed up at my office. He must have looked at the address online or something and he came into my office and greeted me in a very chirpy manner, as if nothing even happened between us. I hated everything about this meeting, so... He asked me why I had not said goodbye to anybody before I left, and I told him that he must know the answer to this question. My dad asked if it was because of his wealth and property division. I didn't want to answer him, but I let out all my frustration. I made it clear to him that his money did not matter to me, but his unfair treatment hurt. My own parents had treated me like a stranger, and I could not recover from this blow. It was unbearable. Then... My father, he actually tried to explain to me uh, that my brother had been fired and was doing really bad in this life. He needed a push from them in the form of finance. So I just stared at my father in utter disbelief. He really thought that we had done something justified? My dad also said he needed to do this to make sure that my brother's wife and children do not suffer. I wanted to make my dad understand that it was no excuse my brother should have been responsible enough to take care of his wife and child instead of depending on his parents. I did not want to argue more with my dad. It was impossible to make him understand my point of view. He was just blinded by love for his older son. And my dad kept trying to argue, but I just ended the conversation and told him that I did not want to talk to him anymore about it. Before leaving, dad asked when I would visit them, and I told him I was unsure, to be honest with you. I was not going to forgive my parents because I was still mad at them. My dad left as he could see that I was just not ready to be normal yet. As I returned to my apartment, I sat down and thought about it after dinner. I was trying so hard to let go of my anger, but I could not stop feeling about it. I mean, I felt bad. I knew that there was nothing that even could have been done, and if I kept brooding over this matter, it would just make me feel bad and would not affect anyone at all. I had just begun my career and needed to stay determined just to achieve more inside of it. Well, I don't know, guys. I convinced myself that it was for the best and that I should look forward. That very night, I get a text from my brother. He said that he needs to talk and that it was very urgent. I wanted to reply, but did not want to hear whatever it was. So I just ignored his text. It's been about four days, and he has sent no follow-up text message, and I'm sort of worried, considering my brother's past behavior, but I don't want to deal with him right now. My mind is not in the state to talk to him, and I don't know, guys. What should I do? Update number three. So, this is what happened next. 
As I had told you guys earlier, I did not want to contact my brother at all. I needed some time to stay away and recover my mental peace. Anyways, last night, my brother showed up at my apartment. I have no idea where he got my address from, and my dad did not even know about it. I was surprised to see him like that. I hesitated to talk to him, but I had no choice. I invited him inside, and he sat in the living room, so I even offered him a glass of water. Well, after that, he began to tell the real reason for him coming here. He said that he had run out of money. My mouth just absolutely dropped to the floor when I heard him say that. How could he be out of money? He had all the wealth and almost all of the inheritance. I mean, it made no sense. So I questioned him and asked him to explain what he's trying to say. He said that he's been under a lot of stress after losing his job. He began to gamble. And he had gambled away all of the money. And he's left with almost nothing. I listened to all of it in absolute utter disbelief. I'd always known that he was careless and irresponsible. But gambling away his entire inheritance in a couple of weeks? Well, that's shocking. So, I sat down and just stared at him as if I needed a minute to process it all. I asked him if mom and dad knew about it. He said that nobody knew, and that's why he was coming to me to ask for help. I was shocked at his audacity to come and ask for help after his extreme toxic attitude towards me. I had hardly gotten anything from my parents, and now he had his eye on that tiny money compared to the whole lot of money that he had gambled away. The only thing that I wanted to do was slap him in the face, you know, the way that he hit me a few weeks ago. But I simply did not do that. The feeling of revenge and enmity began to jump into my head. Seeing my brother in distress and him coming to me for help made me feel good. So good. He deserved it all. And he deserved worse. I mean, I wanted to see the look of horror and regret on my parents' faces too, as they've been the ones to favor my brother over me. I was lost in these thoughts of satisfaction. When my brother jerked me out of them and asked me again with a weird tone if I was going to help him or not. Well, I told him that I would try my best as much. I faked a smile and it was all part of my plan. I was certainly not giving this man a single penny. And I wanted to relish his distress as he's been the one who made my life so much harder. I was going to see him suffer because the consequence of his actions needed it. I gave him um, false hope. Assured him that I would help him financially, and my brother asked me not to share any of it with mom or dad, or his wife, as all of them could be very disappointed, while well, creating many problems between them. I assured him about that, too, that I would not mention it to a soul. However, that was not really what I wanted to do. I'm not going to let him get away with his actions, and I'm certainly not giving him my money so he can gamble it away as well. Update number four. Hey guys, I'm back with yet another update. As my brother left my apartment, I'd already considered my revenge. I was going to leave him humiliated in front of everyone. The first thing that I did was let my parents know his reality. So it happened a few weeks ago that I went to see him as it needed to be done. Now, a lot has happened since then. Anyways, I visited my parents and I got to the point where I told her that her older son had gambled away everything and that they were left with nothing. My mom, she didn't believe me, but I assured her that I am not lying and that he had come to me to ask for help. So my mom told my dad and he was absolutely devastated. He had worked his whole life only for his son to gamble it away in mere weeks after he had earned struggles and surviving just to strive to make it all. I could hear the pain and regret in my dad's voice. I was unhappy about it, but I will not lie that I did not feel a little satisfied. My dad had always been a very rational man. I had seen him plan things meticulously. He worked hard at what he did, which was why he had achieved and earned so much in life. However, the decision to give away everything to his one son, somebody who had always reflected carelessness in everything, was questionable indeed. My dad did not keep anything in his name except for the house that they were currently living in right now, which he wrote to my mom's name. He had given everything to my brother. Such a dumb decision coming from such a practical man had really, really shocked me if I'm being honest with you guys. How could somebody give away every single penny to their most irresponsible son? It was beyond my understanding and comprehension. Anyways, 
I let my parents know the truth that they were apparently unaware of. My parents directly confronted my brother and asked him if it was true. He began to cry in front of our parents, which is an old tactic that he was always used to portray himself as the victim. However, this one time, his tactic did not work. My parents were not taking any more of his crap. They asked him to leave the house as they could not keep feeding and taking care of him when it should have been the other way around. My brother's wife got to know about the entire situation too, and of course she flew into an absolute rage. She said that she had had enough and she was extremely frustrated. She said that she had done everything she could to make their marriage work. But my brother had always ruined everything somehow, and you know what? I agreed with her, as my brother had only been a source of distress for her, just like he's been for everybody else in the family. She said that she was going to leave him and get a divorce. Everyone thought that my brother's wife must have said all of it out of anger, but it turned out that she had meant every single word. She filed a divorce, and she got it, obviously. She also fought for the complete custody of her child, and she got that too. My brother's past salary determined in court that he could not be a good father. His wife won the case so easy, and I was really satisfied through it all. I was glad to see him pay the consequence of his actions. I mean, am I wrong? He had always escaped accountability all his life thanks to the blind support and love that he had gotten from my parents. It was good to see a change in that aspect, and... My brother was mad at me for not helping him and ratting him out, but he could not do anything about it, and I had not lied about anything, so I could care less if he was mad at me. Update number five. After his divorce, my parents asked my brother to leave their house and to live his life as he wished without them. They made it very clear to him that they had nothing left to give to him, and he had to leave. My parents apologized to me for the huge mistake that they've made. I was still mad at them, to be honest, but I let it go and I did forgive them. Their unfair behavior will always have a mark on my heart, and it's uh, something I might never heal from, but I have to move past it as they were my parents, after all. Therefore, I decided to take some time and try to forgive them and move past it. My brother, on the other hand, hates me even more than ever. Before leaving our parents' house, he told me that he hated my existence more than anything and that he would never forgive me for the misery that I caused him. I laughed when I heard his words. He's the one who took all the inheritance and gambled everything. He's the one who treated me like crap and thought that, well, the least of me. He treated me so, so badly, yet he had the audacity to say that he would never forgive me. The last I heard, he was working at some dive bar, and guess what? He was sleeping there, too. It's so weird how the times can just change like this, and one can go from having all the luxuries to losing everything and being left with absolutely nothing. I got almost nothing from my parents, but I've been working really, really hard. My job, it's going really well, if you ask me, and I can't wait to accomplish more. I've complete faith that by working this way... I'll be able to achieve much, much more than my brother got from my parents. Anyways, guys, thank you for listening. So, I was reading the comment section, and there's a lot of people that believe the reason OP's brother was acting this way is because OP's brother was enabled by his parents for so long, and even the fact that the dad gave away all of his hard-earned inheritance just for the brother to squander it, really proved how much they were enabling him. I want to know what you guys think about that, and maybe you have some advice about what you would have done if you were OP and you find out that your brother is now coming to you for money. After he squandered 80% of the inheritance, it is crazy to think about, but I do want to know your thoughts, guys. My name's Mr. Redito. I narrate stories like this every day, and if you guys want daily videos, the best way to get them is so simple. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you tomorrow. And of course, remember, it's cool to be kind. Peace.